This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So once again, GL setting itself. Now, so in GL setting, what we have done, guys, we have done the configuration part in the sense creation of startup account, account group, written earning account. These all are configurations, and this is done by you people. It means consultants. Now, if you talk about the creation of GL master, so this is ongoing process. Ongoing process means let's suppose every after a certain time what will happen there will be requirement from business to set up the GL account and all so it can be maintained by even consultant as well or else it can be maintained by end user also it depends upon client whether they themselves want to maintain or they want us to maintain this GL accounts and all so initially what is happening guys we are going to set up some GL account so that at least we can post the transactions until now whatever uh, what to say configurations we have done right so now it's it's time to correlate these all configurations look at them i'll explain one by one how you know system is going to trigger these all settings and all so and every setting settings as i told you every certain control every configuration steps are having certain control okay so if you understand the logic then it is pretty easy the to you know understand each and everything and uh, this is how you guys are going to if you go for the interviews and all you'll be able to understand the questions right now <clears throat> so how to set up this gl account guys use our transaction code this is the very famous transaction code guys fx double zero that's enter okay and you guys are going to receive like you guys are going to get screen like this okay nothing will be there simply it will be like this okay now what you have to do i'll recommend to do one thing guys you just give your company code here first of all and then click on setting and then you need to click on hierarchy display okay must give your company code first first of all you have to give your company code then click on setting and hierarchy display here you need to select display account in navigation tree what is the benefit if you are going to select this display account for navigation tree guys that i'll show you press enter so if you press enter now what is happening guys so there was a pop-up box actually system is saying that the changes will appear only if you are going to refresh this screen so how to refresh the screen guys so once again we are going to use the same transaction code provided you have to add slash n slash n fs double zero and press enter look at here guys now the appearance of this screen got changed earlier this area this the left side whatever this black space is there that is that was not appearing right right now it is because of that change if it here guys whichever gl accounts are going to be set up whatever gl accounts you are going to create here in right side after creation those gl account list will appear here in left side so easily you can find out like okay how many gl i have created uh, how many numbers of how many gl numbers you know you have used at all so now we'll do one thing first of all in first session i'll uh, show you how to you know create the gl account and still there are some more things guys even field controls also we have to see so first of all uh, just see how to set up the gl account how to create the gl account guys it's very simple pretty simple what you need to do you need to click on here create button look at here the blank page always wherever you find this symbol guys this is a symbol of create only this blank page and upper side this right uh, what to say corner is small like it's folded right so this this is your create button and this is called display this is a change button and all if you have to make any edit it is going to be used this is copy and all you just do one thing first of all you need to click on create button click here okay then what then the first gl which we are going to create is what so now i'll just do one thing here i have we have discussed about this uh, what to say account group 
no worries i'll just do one thing so let's suppose i have quoted the example of rent account debit to bank account right this is debit and this is credit this is debit and this is credit so now rent account is one gl and bank account is another gl it means we need to set up minimum two gl account then only we will be able to post our transactions and then we can check then we can check whether uh, whatever configurations we have done is working fine or not or is there any still any issues are there any anything is missing and all right so uh you just do one thing guys so here here what i'll do okay so now create the gl account so now first of all so here system is saying that you have to give a gl code it means gl number so which number supposed to be given for rent account now here this rent account is the part of which account group assets liability revenue expenses and others so i'll tell you guys rent is the part of expense okay this account group and against this account group which number range i have given four thousand to four triple nine look at here guys if you're not able to remember you can uh, create one more session so here how to create the session guys here itself you can click and so now one more session is going to be created now here in this session what you have to do guys you just do one thing you will be d4 so here we have created our account group i'll just give chart of account tm p c o a this is what our chart of account right so against this chart of account look at your expense account group this is what the number range i have given 4000 to 4 triple line so what number you are going to use guys the first number itself we are going to use that is 4000 because rent is going to be set up under expense account group so 4000 just like now as i told you first of all what is happening you have to select the account group okay expense account group i have selected there might be a question in your mind what will happen if i'm going to if if user or creator of this gl account by mistake if the creator in the sense the uh, candidate has selected a wrong account group so i'll tell you guys it is impossible you cannot select a wrong account group okay so here itself uh, you have to you must have to select as the expense account group itself if you are going to select wrong account group let's suppose liability immediately system is going to throw an error what error so look at here account group liab is nothing but liability it is showing four digit code that four digit code which we have given here look at here liab liab means liability account group. so system is saying that this account group liab it means liability defined defined for which one 2002 it is defined for 2002 to triple nine it means it is saying that <coughs> okay it means it is saying that this city account group means what is the number is 2000 to 299 2000 to 299 and and okay so it means and here number gl number which i have given is 4000 rupees sorry uh, i said like 4000 right gl uh, code is 4000 okay so here what is happening guys uh, of course like system is able to search your account group and system found for liability different number range we have given whereas the here the number gl number is different so you must have to select guys there is no any other options you must have to select expense account group only if you are going to select any other account group system is going to find out where in obd4 against other what number range 5000 to 5999 whatever the gl account number which we have given it is 4000 
so is it falling under this range this is not falling under this range it means the combination is not correct right so you have to select the correct account group itself now then only the fields are going to be highlighted now here you have to <coughs> select here pnl statement account or balance sheet whether this year is the part of pnl or it is the part of balance sheet i'll tell you guys when you receive request from client side okay so there are some because there are several people who is not from finance and account background so how they will come to know whether it is balance sheet account or pnl statement account right uh, whoever the candidates are there like even uh, multiple btech candidates are working as a fico consultant or uh, non financial account background uh, people are also working as a fico consultant several so what will happen how these people will be able to understand that whether this is the part of payroll statement account or balance sheet so i'll tell you guys this is not like even though if somebody knows that rent account is the part of pnl statement still we are not decisions because this gl account is created for 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 clients right for a particular client so what is happening here the client is going to decide client is going to decide uh, that this gl account whichever is going to be set up is the part of pnl statement or balance sheet which number the gl code is also going to they will they'll be having a template guys in that template itself they are going to fill up all the details what should be the nomenclature in the sense name of the gl account what should be the gl code under which account group it is going to be set up right this gl is the part of pnl statement or balance sheet these all things are going to be information will be given by client you have to just set up it you need to set up okay so creation of master data also we can say guys creation of master data is also just like a kind of data entry work itself there is nothing much uh, what to say uh, to what to say uh, think over there simply you got the details from client side and based on the details what is happening uh, either consultant or end user whoever is there is going to set up this gl account so now here expense expense account group are selected and this is the part of pnl statement because we know that rent account is expense so it's a part of pnl expense and revenue is the part of pnl and <clears throat> this uh, what to say assets and, li and liability is the part of balance sheet account right so now here i'm going to give so short text now here what is there in short text and long text guys there are certain gl account which is having a very long name long name means might be 40 characters 50 characters 35 characters so first of all you have to give a small name here and then the complete name can be given here field length is i think 16 digits only that you need to count it again let me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 characters the field length is 20 character here it is more here more i think double or almost that also you can count it i forgotten like how much is the length so now here uh a rent account here in short text also i'm going to give the same thing and long text also i'm going to give the same thing okay long text means complete name you can give here okay and then click on control data i'll tell you guys when when you set up a zl account when you set up a zl account then these are the three fields these are the three fields are going to be filled by people apart from this this keyword is having a quite different logic guys even like a uh, uh, few just I'll, I'll tell you guys few months back even i was also not aware because there are multiple uh, fields if you talk about SAP, in sap there are multiple fields are there guys right it doesn't mean that you know the logic behind each and every fields still there are multiple country specific settings are also there so now it is having a different logic but in real time what is happening this first second and third these three tabs itself are going to be used it is going to be used for creation of gl account apart from this remaining let's suppose this information this is going to be updated automatically okay right now nothing is appearing once you save the gl account automatically here certain details are going to appear what it is who has created this gl account on which date this gl account got created so you need not to worry about these fields only types and descriptions here you have to give the short text and long text you need to select whether it is the part of pnl statement 
and account group whether it is expense or revenue or whatever the account group is there just click on control data tab here the currency is appearing automatically guys currency by default system has picked the currency so where it is coming from guys i'll tell you whenever you create the zl account you have given your company code so from company code so company code at the time of creation of company code you might have given a currency over there without currency it is not possible to set up the company code so whatever currency you have given against your company code the same currency has been copied here at the time of zl uh, creation of zl accounts okay now even if you want to set up gl account in a different currency also it is possible you can set up in a different currency also um, i mean to say except apart from your company code currency if you want to set up gl account in a different currency also you can set up okay but again uh, let's suppose let's suppose i have created a gl account okay or is sometime what happens like uh, okay gl account i have created i created the gl account some transactions we have posted in your local currency right let's suppose this thousand thousand whereas i have posted this transaction in a different currency foreign currency okay foreign currency if you are from india then this is your foreign currency if you are in usa then this inr or gbp or whatever it is there that is your foreign currency. it means the currency whichever currency other than your company code currency is going to be treated as a foreign currency right your company code currency is your local currency if your company code you have set up in which currency guys usd currency that is your local currency if your company code you have set up in gbp uh, gbp uh, then that is uh, or in euro then that is going to be treated as a local currency right and apart from that company code currency all currencies are going to be treated as a foreign currency so now here let's suppose these are the transactions right if you have a look on the overall balance total balance then how much it is guys 3500 but is it, if you publish your financial statement so rent account is your expense account right so if you have to show like okay total rent payable or total rent we have paid in this particular year let's suppose uh, whatever the expenses are there let's suppose if you're going to if it is going to publish so here 3500 is not a correct figure right so what will happen you must have to here the currency whatever this usd is there that must be converted into the value must be converted into local currency right so it means whenever even though if you are going to post a transaction even though if you are going to post a transaction in foreign currency also but still system should convert that foreign currency transactions into your local currency then only you are going to get the balance in your local currency guys right so now what will happen guys for that you have to apply a check mark here only balances in local currency okay apart from this this other fields are also there guys because uh, even in upcoming session also we are going to create the gl masters gl accounts are going to be created and there are also certain some more fields are going to be used uh, over there so that logic you will come to know like reconciliation look at here like uh, this reconciliation account type so once i start account payable account receivable there i am going to use this right now open item management also I'm not going to explain right now anything. Open item management means what is this open item managed ZL account, guys? That also you'll come to know uh, later in upcoming sessions. Okay, which ZL account we are going to manage open item basis and what should be the logic behind? What is the logic behind that? Right now you just do one thing. Up, do one more settings here. Uh, line item display. Okay, line item display. So you need to click on. Line, line item display what is the logic behind this line item display guys let's suppose we have posted multiple against your rent account we have posted multiple transactions okay multiple transactions so whatever transactions are getting posted guys whatever transactions are going to be posted so look at here these all transactions have been posted right this is a different transactions this is a different transactions every transactions are different different transactions right and if you talk about the overall balance it is 12000 so it is around 25 
2500. So it is going 22,500. This is what the overall balance is. So now here, if you check the rent GL account, if you check the GL report, rent GL report, so it is going to show you this figure. But this figure means what, guys? This figure is the consolidated balance, right? So how 22,500 in that the contribution is there multiple transactions have been posted guys and then this all transaction balances all together it is going to show you 22,500. So if you want to see transaction wise then what will happen you must have to apply a check mark. Okay if you apply a check mark on line and display the system is going to show you the overall balances along with all the transactions whichever is posted line item wise in the sense line by line system is going to show all the transactions and then at bottom you'll be getting the consolidated figure also okay if you don't apply the check mark then simply you'll be getting this figure only and in this figure the contribution belongs to like how many line items uh, you know contributions belongs to that you you won't be able to you won't be knowing this why because line item check mark you have not you forgotten to apply and there will be some uh, i think uh, i'll tell you guys again there might be some question in your mind like uh, okay what will happen if somebody forget to apply a check mark here in line item display right or is open item management and later on you remember that okay this year was uh, supposed there's supposed to be uh, this year was supposed to be open item managed open item uh, gl and all so later on uh, if you remember meanwhile if the any transaction has been posted against this yellow account guys and after that if you want to apply a check mark here the system is going to throw error okay i'm having youtube channel uh, that channel name is also kumar consulting itself guys that already have recorded the video on this one and i have uploaded it okay if you forgotten to apply a check mark on line item display if you forgot to apply a check mark on open item management and you created this yield account you saved this yield account and you have posted already certain transactions against this yield account right and after that again you have to apply the check mark here then what will happen system is going to throw error so what is the solution is already uh, you know uh, uploaded the video i have uploaded over there if uh, possible you can watch it now so here what is happening this line item display now sort key sort key means here you can do one thing give a sort key here double zero one standard sort key i'm going to give okay standard sort key i'm going to give what is the logic behind this sort key guys there is a logic that logic also i'll explain uh, but right now theoretically itself if you see the gl report if you're going to see the gl report then there will be multiple fields are going to appear like multiple fields are going to appear means let's suppose this rent gl account right so this is called amount center right then after what is happening currency segment will be there right then you will be having a reference field will be there then you'll be having text field will be text field will be there right you'll be having posting date you'll be having document date right likewise you will be having you know like i'll just delete this one then you will be having let's suppose assignment assignment field also. so now document date posting date is going to be updated by system based on our input whatever input at the time of posting transactions what is happening here is we are going to give certain input okay what should be the document date what should be the posting date this the difference between document date and posting date will be explained later in upcoming session guys in account payable we are having a topic called terms of payment so there i'll explain but right now what is happening so this document date currency reference everything is going to be updated by system but if you talk about this assignment field assignment field so this assignment field is getting updated automatically how system is going to update the assignment field guys again there is a logic behind that i'll try to create a sort key guys and then i'll explain the uh, but right now you just understand theoretically sort key. sort key i have given posting date right so if you have given sort key as a posting key posting date then this sort key 
the sort key is going to update assignment field automatically. So here, assignment field is going to be updated by posting key automatically. Assignment field is going to be, sorry, posting gate automatically. Assignment field will be updated by what? By which value? So since you are in sort key, I have selected posting date. So posting date is automatically getting updated here in assignment. Okay, the more logic you guys will be able to understand once I cover this topic. Don't worry. This is what they use. So let me okay, do one thing. Let me create this uh, Gale account. Okay, look at here how much time it is taking, guys. Right for the explanations. Now you click on create bank interest, and here you are going to give PDC data script Z001. And then post automatically dot apply a check mark here. There is a different logic again. You save it, control S. So once you save this Gale account, look at here the rent gl got created and your left side it is appearing that under expense account group one gl got created now so in order to post the transaction since we have to post the transaction guys and i told you there is a logic here also field status group what is the logic i'll explain during transaction posting Okay, see everything is uh, what to say quite easy. It depends upon uh, the what to say faculty, the way they are going to explain, right? So here the thing is like if I say it's like field status group, this field status group controls the fields of projects and data, but the question is how it is going to uh, control the uh, fields of transaction data right so that is why i am saying that this is going to be explained practically so that see practically if you are going to have a look on these all things guys then it is it will be quite easy to remember right and uh, you need not to uh, search the google definitions and all if you are having understanding you can make your own definitions right it's 10 times let's suppose if i am going to ask a question 10 times uh if you have a thorough understanding of that particular topic then all these 10 times you are going to give you are going to try you are going to explain the logic but will be having some different words different sentences every time words and sentences are going to be changed okay but the meaning will be same the meaning will be same whereas if you have mugged up something from google or, or you have searched you know direct definitions from google and if you have mugged up simply and if somebody is going to ask this question uh going to ask the questions and you started recollecting all those things which you have mugged up which you have noted down from google so even if i ask 100 times also guys all the same line which you have mugged up right same uh words will be there same sentence will be there same comma same full stop everything there won't be even a single percent differences but there is a problem because let's suppose you have mugged up something and in between like uh, it's it's four line definition is there five line definitions is there definition is there and in between like one or two line if you missed out then the entire uh what do you say the definition itself is going to be changed isn't it so i'll just try to understand the things so look at here we have created the gl account right now what is happening if you need to edit you can select this gl account click on change button and then here you can make the changes but right now what i am going to do guys i am going to so i'm going to create the next next gl account that is bank gl account so either you have to click on create or else if it is if you're going to create a similar gl account then you can click on copy button also so bank gl is not similar to rent gl account but still i'm going to create the uh, create uh, i'm going to uh, click on copy button there is a reason i'll tell you click on copy now you guys just think you just think now you are going to set up the bank uh, gl account so what should be your gl number put some pressure on your mind right i think what should be the gl number hope you guys will be able to so how we are going to identify the gl number just now i have shown you guys before creation of the gl account for ngl how i have identified the gl account number so first of all you need to so again i think uh, 
let's suppose if you know if you came to know that okay this gl uh, that uh, is bank account gl number is so and so it's okay if you still you are unable to understand what should be the gl number so then first of all you have to think this bank account is going to be set up under which account group so the answer is asset account group and what is the number range of asset account look at here what is the number range of asset account group guys 1000 to 1399 i think this session has taken too much time it's it's been a bit long so anyway i always try to uh, record small sessions with more explanation so that it won't be much boring now so here 1000 because bank account is going to be part of assets right and what number range i have given at the time of defining asset account group 1000 to 1399 so first year is going to be set up that is why i have given 1000 this one now now we'll do one thing press <laughs> so look at here since we have copied the rent, like rent account right we have copied the rent account so whatever the information is there on this rent account that is copied here so now first of all you need to change your account group okay then the next one is this is a bank account i'm going to set up hdfc bank account so this is the part of balance sheet guys because asset is the part of balance sheet right now here i'm going to change the name hdfc bank account and why i copy it because only these are the informations which is going to be changed apart from this if you talk about the control data if you talk about the interest bank you know so these data will be as it is there won't be any changes just save it control this so now we get here guys two gl accounts we have created and if you the informations then look at here it is created by kumar and on which date it is created so on this date it is created so this is going to be updated automatically what you need to update guys this types of descriptions control data and read my interest these three tabs are going to be updated so we have created this gl account we have created the gl account still there are some more thing guys as i told you that uh, let's suppose we have created the account group okay an account group controls the fields of gl master right so whatever these fields are there guys that is going to be controlled by account group but the question is how so that i'll show you practically once again because account group already we have set up but still i have to show you how it is going to control the fields so that is going to be explained in next session